Hey there, friends and fellow crafters. It's Leanne, and happy Thanksgiving 2020. So, I am here with a last minute that I decided, a um, last minute project I decided to do for dinner to, today, because it's already almost 12.30 in the morning. So, let's um, show you what I'm going to be using, and we'll get started. This is going to be a quick project. So, this stamp set is the Thanksgiving Gnomes from Cat Scrappiness. I'm using the pie from this set, but I wanted to go ahead and show you the whole thing. I think it's so adorable. We've got the little pilgrim and the, and the Indian princess, the turkey that's telling you to eat chicken. We got leftovers are for quitters and thankful for my gnomies, along with a couple of fall leaves and some pumpkins. Um, oh, happy gnomesgiving over here too. And then the second set I'm using the happy Thanksgiving sentiment from. And we have Happy Fall, y'all. You're never too old to play in the leaves. Give thanks. Autumn, the year's last lovely smile. And we got a pumpkin, another pumpkin, some leaves, some sprigs, and this beautiful vase. I've used that in a project before. Um, but I'm using the Happy Thanksgiving sentiment, and I did do some stand surgery and cut it in half. So that's what I'm using as my main for, uh, pieces for this project. So this is Hammer Mill 80 pound cardstock, and it's it's good for a, it's it's good for a layering weight layering weight cardstock, and it's also um, it takes the alcohol markers pretty good. And I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black because it is alcohol marker friendly. So I have, I have the stamps on my block already, and I'm just going to stamp that down, just like that. And I will clean that. Now, I am using alcohol markers. I have uh, Ohuhu markers. I'm using WG3. If you're not familiar with Ohuhu, they are um, Amazon, or they're on Amazon, and they are um, a great price point. They are $99 for 120 markers, very big collection, and they are, let me show you, they're a brush tip on the one end, and that brush tip is reversible, so if it frays or um, starts getting soft, you can take it off and reverse it. And then a chisel tip on the other end. So that was WG3 that I used for the pie plate. And then I'm using BR2. And this will be just for the crust around the edge where it usually on a pie gets a little more brown than the rest of it. And then I'm using Y9 for the pie crust up at the top. Let's see. So, we are uh, getting together with some family today. Um, we do have my husband's brother and his wife that lives in town and uh, their son. And my mother-in-law is up visiting. So we are going to uh, spend Thanksgiving with them. I am going to use a Sizzix circle die to cut this out. And at the same time, because I am going to use my Big Shot so I can do two at once, I am using a die from Gina Marie Designs. This is a doily die. It's one of a set of five. And with that, I can cut both at the same time. Again, this is my Vagabond 2 over here that I'm using just because it's faster, especially because that one from Gina Marie is more intricate. And 
me just run it through and then bring it back. All right, and there we go. And I did use Scotch removable repositionable tape to uh, hold my dies in place. So we have that. Now I'm going to use my, if I can find it, there we go, Gina K Designs Tape Runner. This paper, if I did not say already, is from Die Cuts With A View. It is their shimmer paper from the shimmer stack. I have the 12 by 12, and I'm pretty sure I have a six by six of it somewhere as well. Um, I gave the eight by eight. I know I had an eight by eight and I gave that to a friend. So maybe it's a four by six I have. I don't remember now. I have too much paper, but I took some to the retirement village already and I'm getting ready to take another load over as soon as, uh, as soon as Thanksgiving's over. So there we go. So there is that. This is another piece panel that I cut out of the same paper pack. Just for some contrast there. There we go. And one thing I wanna do, I'll do that after. So, we're doing this easy this year. Plasticware. It looks like silver. And then I have some pretty napkins that I bought at Dollar Tree. So, we have that. And we wrap that up. Put that there, put that down, a little bit of that tape runner. Could use score tape if you wanted to. For the sake of this video, I'm not. And we have that ready to go. However, I'm going to use a glaze pen. See those little pieces of the pie? So you can the little pieces where the juices would come through. I'm going to take a glaze pen and we're going to pretend this is maybe a cherry pie. And that'll add some shine for that. And there you go. Now, that's one down. 15 to go and my project is complete. If you like this video, please hit that like button down below. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit that bell so you'll get notifications when I make a new video. In the meantime, like I said before, have a happy Thanksgiving. Everybody be safe. If you have traveled, just get back home safe and healthy. And uh, have a happy holiday season. Bye.